Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. 10% Science Hard Mode, ugh. Now I read everybody's comments in the last video, and you said yes, go ahead and get the stability. So, now we've unlocked stability, so we're good with that. I was reading chat from the last Kerbal Space Program video, and someone said I could get science on top of the buildings. So I wanted to give this a try, and in order to do this, I needed a hovercraft. Now, of course, we're dealing with extremely limited technology, as you can see in the front or beginning of this video. However, I do have reaction wheels inside of the cockpits, and also I do, well, actually, no, they're more like command modules. So that combined with thrust from the rockets, I can create something that gives me control in a hovering type of type of way. I do apologize about my voice. I think I'm getting sick and I do have an ear infection, which is great. But anyway, moving on. So I got one of the most efficient rockets, which is the Reliant that we have. And I gave it a bunch of fuel and six, I repeat, six command modules for maximum amount of uh, reaction wheelness. Now true, I could have gotten a whole lot more of the command modules, but I wanted it to look good as well as be functional, and so this this worked. I gave it real simple little stubby legs, a kind of science module doohickey on top with all the science on top. Gave it a name and a whole bunch of orange and yellow and black and just, just make it look like it is the most experimental prototype ever. It's like as it's it's if as it's it is if, as if, this thing could explode at any moment. Now the trick to making hovering technology in the very beginning of your, of your tech tree is to make sure that your thrust to weight ratio right off the bat is set to like 0.9 or just at 1. This helps control it a lot better because you're not suddenly jumping into the air or suddenly dropping onto the ground. Even at full throttle, you're just barely hovering. This means you can control your up and down or thrust a lot easier. Well, I landed on these buildings and guess what? You can get new science on top of these buildings. However, I did find out that it's not all of them and you'll see that later. There were there were several buildings that you if you landed right on top of them, they they just did not produce any new science. Now, someone in the comments said that you could actually reset these things, the the science experiments without needing a scientist and there's some truth to that the science experiments where all you have to do is log the data like the thermometer and the and the uh, you know the, the other science experiment that does um, um, atmospheric stuff actually i'm thinking any science experiment where you just log the data is probably something that a non-science kerbal can repeatedly grab science from they just go somewhere log data go somewhere log data go somewhere log data however other experiments i'm thinking more advanced experiments like the materials bay and and the goo, you actually need a scientist in order to reset those actually, once you take the data from them. I tried using a Kerbal that wasn't a scientist and I got this message. So there's some truth to it. I mean, you, there, there's, there's some experiments that need a scientist in order to reset them, and there are other experiments that don't need scientists to reset them. Mostly, I think, the one where you just log log whatever is on the, you know, it's not like temperature or whatever. Also, I kind of figured out how to operate the new X Science mod, the one that gives you like a little checklist. And I must say, after I figured it out, it, it's actually a really nice little feature. I have it set on uh, to, to recognize the science that I'm capable of grabbing with my, with my craft at the time. So that when I'm flying over or when I land at a certain spot, it'll give me a tiny little list of what I can get. Very useful, definitely. This was one of those buildings that didn't have any science when you landed on the roof. I think there's like three of them. The astronaut complex being one of them, as well as the mission control.
I will so I will I will say, however, that this little craft was was uh, a joy to fly, even though it was extremely low tech. It got to the point where I knew I wasn't going to get any science, but I wanted to do the trick landing anyway. I also tried landing on the monolith that was all the way to the left of the uh, base, but there's nothing there. Even though I didn't land on the monolith, I could tell that there was nothing there. Yeah, all it said was pretty much that it needed science from the shore. Uh, that that could that could be easily done on the ground. So no actual monolith science to be had. So a pretty short and sweet video this this day. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing. We also have a uh, I almost said monolith program. What the fuck? <laughs> A membership program if you become a member you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name pretty cool check it out also click on that bell notification uh, at your own peril because i don't know if it really works or not people say it does people say it don't i don't freaking know but there you go love you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video bye for now bye bye